Hello, I'm Eddie. I'm ready to be painted. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notifications when I post a video about once a week. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be completely honest. I have no clue what I'm actually doing right now. I got some AK True Metal. It's, I believe it's kind of like a rub and buff. Kind of, it's a wax-based paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wash over the whole thing and then start adding some of this on it and just start messing around with this and then i'm going to paint uh, kind of an army green color over the top chip away start rusting and see if i can get some of the metal from underneath to show through so that's what i'm going to try i think i'm going to do it just on the leg first uh, for this tutorial and then i'll finish the rest of the body and then show you at the end how it turned out so let's go ahead and do that okay so all i'm doing here is just laying a heavy wash of citadel known oil just kind of covering the whole thing, dabbing it down a little bit. Then I'm taking that AK gun metal and work a little bit off the brush and just kind of dry brush all the edges. And then I just kept reworking it and reworking it and hitting the edges and then kind of building it up. It's starting to look really nice. It gave a really great metallic effect. So yeah, I'm just kind of building it up. Now I got the AK iron, and you can see that it gives some really nice highlights. So it just adds dimension to this whole thing. And um, looking really amazing. I'm pretty pleased with how it was turning out. Now I'm adding a little bit of rust color on there. Now this pigment is more of like an oil paint, so it kind of just adds a little bit of color and dimension, but that's about it. I'll use another rust um, from AK coming up here in a little bit that does some really nice stuff, but right now I'm just kind of layering and adding again some more dimension with a little bit of color. Okay, so for the green, I'm using some just off-the-shelf artist oil paint. I would do it a little bit differently if I did it again. I know there are some model oil paints that dry quicker. This off-the-shelf artist stuff took a little bit too long to dry for my liking. I was originally going to use Rattle Can spray paint, Rust-Oleum, but decided to go ahead and do this. It actually gives you a nice long time to work with it and blend things back and forth, so I kind of like it. So yeah, I'm just kind of feathering it in, blending it in, and reworking it. Then I'm going to get some of this AK like rust and crust or something like that and um, kind of dab it on there and it gives a really cool effect especially when it dries. All right so I just want to take a quick look at where we're at. I have just essentially kept doing the same process over and over. Added silver, no, first I added the dark wash, then I added some silver, then I added some oil green, and then some additional silver, and then I did dark wash again, and then I did some uh, rust, and then I did some silver again. <laughs> so I just kind of keep working it until I kind of got it to my liking, and I think it's pretty cool. Um, here's the other, like, just with the wash and the silver. I think this looks really nice also. I considered just leaving like that, but I think it's um, adds a little bit more character with the green color in there. And I've got, pardon my reach here, I've got the first arm also with a wash and the silver on it. And just for fun, the comparison of the two, this is just primered, the one in my right hand. And this is with the wash and the silver over it. So just right away, the effect is pretty amazing. Um, I'm really liking this. And these oil basings are really nice to work with. Normally I'm working with acrylic and it dries so stinking fast. But this, you have time to just keep reworking it and reworking it. So I'm really enjoying it. All right, let's get back at it. 
All right, so now I'm taking the Nuln oil and I'm just going in all of the little crevices just to kind of reinforce and reinstate those shadows. They kind of got washed out as I was doing the rust wash and the green oil. And so I'm just going back in and pronouncing those small little areas so it gives some depth and detail. So with this true metal, you're able to buff it. So I got my Dremel out and I got a little buffer wheel and um, I think it was a little too powerful because it just pulled it right off back down the primer. So no big deal, I just repainted some of the true metal on there. That didn't work. All right, so I got his, his head fixed. And then I found a sheet of Gundam stickers, and so I started applying them to the robot throughout the different areas on the arms, the back of the head. And I think it just added a nice little additional depth of detail. All right, so I'm in the home stretch. The last thing here is it has LED eyeballs, and I thought they were a little strong, so I just took some parchment paper, cut them out to size, plugged it in, and it just kind of diffuses the light a little bit. It looked really great. So, hey, as always, it's a great day to be a toy nerd. Have a good one.